In this video I'm going to show you how you can wake an ESP32 from sleep either with a push button or a pulse. Here's an old do it board but it's currently sleeping. Press the button, it wakes up, flashes the LED and goes back to sleep. Press that again, flash, go back to sleep. So here's the test conditions, either a push button or a pulse applied in my case to an arbitrarily chosen GPIO pin 12 push to wake up or pulse to wake. Configuration of the code is fairly straightforward. Include the real-time clock IO library and that defines the data types, GPIO number and sleep functions. Include the real-time clock GPIO pull-down enable. Why? Because in sleep pull-down resistors on the device aren't enabled so that enables them. Choose your GPIO pin. I've chosen GPIO number 12. Enable the uh, sleep wake up. So ESP sleep enable external zero wake up using GPIO pin number 12 on a rising edge and then the main code runs and eventually goes back to sleep. It sleeps forever until the button is pressed. So here's the code that was running on the demonstration. It's essentially the same. It just enables you to see how you can embed the changes in your code. I won't go through the code. I think it's fairly self-evident. So in summary then, it's a simple and easy way to wake an ESP32 from sleep. You can use a switch or a pulse. There's no debounce functions required. It's easy to configure and implement and it's ideal for projects that need to work on demand or actuate on demand, e.g. a doorbell. So it sits doing nothing, consuming minimal power until a button is pressed. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful. 